Welcome to Nobel Biz Webinars. So we are still figuring out, let, let's start at the beginning, just how do you get a level attestation? Contact centers are going to have to have uh, a service provider who is supporting Stir Shaken. So before you can even get to the concept of trust around your calls, you've got to use a contact center that has implemented Stir Shaken. And then you can start to have those conversations with them. What is your policy for signing my calls with A-level attestation? Because A-level attestation is an element of trust on two counts that they are authorized to use the TN and that we know who this entity is. Hopefully that service provider has some KYC implemented to identify fraudulent actors versus you know, good actors. Uh, but everyone who's leveraging the contact center space absolutely should be asking and figuring out what are you gonna do for the A-level attestation. As far as the terminating side, what does it actually mean? That is still being considered by the terminating carriers Rightly so, because I just talked about how Sir Shaken is still not widely implemented. If you go look at the robocall mitigation uh, database and you get some numbers, you're going to see the majority of those who have filed have an implemented Sir Shaken. So to your breadcrumbs, if there's nobody to pass the breadcrumb to, it falls right there and doesn't make its way to the terminating side. Uh, but that doesn't mean that we shouldn't be concerned in asking our service provider. I, I think you would, Christian, agree with that. I don't think that means that the contact center should just go, oh, okay, well, never mind, I don't care about it. No, you should care about it. In order for us to really get this implemented, it's gonna take that pressure from the contact center enterprise space to ensure that their service providers are meeting what they are required to do. Eventually, that A level will absolutely have some true meaning. We are absolutely not going to see carriers block calls for calls that are not signed. We're not gonna see them block calls for calls that are signed with a B versus an A. It's a data point. A call coming in that's not signed, data point. A call coming in that is signed, data point. The data points are still feeding into the analytics. The analytics will pull in a lot more of their information, which we are so used to already. Those are the ones who are making those decisions on fraud or spam. This just becomes another data point to the analytics. Um, but it's a valuable one, but it's just not the be all to end all on decision making of whether or not to terminate that call.